Impact segment tonight, as you may know, things are pretty much out of control at Columbia University here in New York City with far left radicals disgracing the university time and time again. You'll remember this display when the Minutemen were invited to speak at Columbia earlier this fall. Security people there did little to stop the assault. Now another situation, 36-year-old Marine Matt Sanchez, a junior at the university, says three members of the International Socialist Organization hassled him on campus. Corporal Sanchez says he brought this to the attention of the administration at Columbia, but nothing was done. We call Columbia President Lee Bollinger and Dean of Students Mary McGee. They have issued some mealy mouth statement, but really won't talk about it. That is the usual at Columbia University, and with us now is Corporal Sanchez. So, you know, what exactly happened here? Pretty you're, much, you're studying. Well, let's set it. You're studying. You're in your third year American studies. And, and you're walking around, and what's happening? It's Activities Day. It's a Columbia-sponsored event. Uh, I visit a table, the Hamilton Club. Then suddenly the ISO comes over, and they're screaming and shouting at the top of their lungs. Now, okay, this is the socialist organization, and you're at the Hamilton Club uh, table, which is what? It has a military society and, and a historical society component to it. It's okay. a lot of people, a lot of students who are in ROTC. Okay. Um, I'm visiting the table. They, they come over and they start screaming and shouting that the, they want the military off campus and they wanted us off campus. Now, I'm a student there. At that point, they said that the military exploits all minorities. Now, everyone behind that desk, all three of us, were minorities. I'm Puerto Rican. The people who were t talking about the exploitation were all non-minorities, which is ironic. Um, I said I joined and uh, I'm a minority. And they said, that's because you're too stupid. You're too stupid to understand that you're being exploited by the military. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, uh, that was bad enough in front of everyone. There's about 600 students there, and they had everyone's attention. It was How did you reply to that uh, slur? I walked away. Good for you, Corporal. All right, so you reported this incident? I did. I reported this incident. I went to no fewer than 20 meetings with the administration, uh, with some members of the faculty, and it went absolutely nowhere. What did they say to you? They said uh, several things. At first they asked me, what had you been doing? Did you say anything that could have enticed them to, to did you provoke them in any right. way? Did you have any literature? Did you have any military literature? Were you talking about the military? Were you representing yourself in any way that was military-like? Um, I was in civilian clothing. There was absolutely nothing all right, on. so when it was established by you and others, I assume, that it was non-provoked, these people came over and insulted you. Yes. Uh, you're a student. You really don't want to be insulted on the campus. Correct. The bottom line for this faculty and uh, administration was what? Bottom line was uh, there was no bottom line. We're they, not going to do anything about it. They said that there was an investigation, that they couldn't reveal the results of the investigation. Couldn't reveal them. That's correct, because it was a student issue, and this was a matter of privacy. <laughs> I tried to bring up, it was the whole club, the whole ISO who came over, and it was activities day. That means that there were a bunch of clubs right. out well, there. Well, these, these are the same people who disrupted the Minutemen thing. That is correct. Now, they're still in school, right? That is people? correct. And they're still walking around. That is correct. Doing all the things they do, so nothing's been done about it. Absolutely, absolutely nothing has been done. So what you have at Columbia University, then is basically a group that's out of control. Would you say they were out of control? Absolutely. Disrespectful to you? Cor correct. And it's because the university is creating an environment where they let this happen. And I don't know whether they encourage it, but they certainly don't discourage, discourage it. it. That is absolutely correct. Now, other students on campus, knowing what happened, What's their reaction you know, to you? It's, I'm, I'm amazed. A lot of students have come up in sympathy, particularly minority students, have said that they've had issues with other problems. Um, and they've come up really in solidarity with me. I've gotten emails from all over. I wrote a, uh, a press release for the New York uh, Post, an op-ed piece. And mm -hmm. uh, I've gotten emails from all over, including a lot of Columbia alumni who are very angry about this so issue. So we know that Columbia alumni are, are not going to give money to the university because of the atmosphere that Bollinger, the president, it's his fault. I mean, he fosters this atmosphere. And, uh, you know, this isn't the first time it's happened. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's too bad because I mean, you're a guy who you're 36 years old. That's correct. You served in the Marines. You're now trying to get a college education in a good school. And why should you be abused by these people? I can think of no reason, sir. Right. And you walked away. You know when that tells me? You are the better person. And Thank you, we sir. appreciate your service, Corporal, and we appreciate you coming and telling us about it. Thank you very much. All right. And we would suggest that the administration of Columbia University um, get out from under their desk and deal with this problem. All right?